What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Myoji and today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get 6 star souls so let's have a look at my Tengu he's the only one decked out right now with some 6 star souls so um, I got this one from the shrine it's pretty alright <clears throat> I mean a, a perfect attack rune would in my opinion would have like attack percent um, substat, crit damage substat, speed and crit rate all right this is we only have attack percent and crit damage which is not bad it's not bad this one I also got from the shrine the week before so it's got attack it's got crit rate uh, effect res and HP bonus we don't really need that you know if we got speed and crit damage I'm much better now in early game I'm running a crit chance rune crit rate rune um, soul, sorry, soul. We keep saying rune. Okay, so it's 55% uh, crit is where it maxes at. So I got some speed, but uh, we couldn't dodge the defense bonus there. So not really a good soul, but it's usable at this stage of the game right now for me. Here I've got another six, a great six um, seductress slot four soul. I've got some speed. And the rest of the stats aren't really important. This two, I have not powered them up. I mean, I powered them up a bit, but uh, I'm hoping for better ones with better substats. So, where did I get these? This was from the shrine. This was from uh, this was from a kraken. This shrine, shrine. So, three out of four of my. Great six souls came from the shrine. So what is the shrine? Let me show you guys. You go to summon. On the right hand side, underneath the summon, uh, the SSR summon thing, there is called a thing called a shrine here. So you tap on the shrine, and you can see that there's this menu. You can get like a um, black daruma, which is for skill ups. You can get um, a great five exp daruma. Uh, Great Daruma, Great 5 Great Daruma, right, which requires like 1002. Great 4 requires um, 200 of these things. And you can see that they have quotas. Like this is once a week, this is once a week, this is twice a week. And for the soul, right, this one. Okay, here's the thing how do you get these? Uh, this this 200 tokens these things here the talismans how do you get the talisman right you need to release them you tap on exchange okay and you can release them from your current crop so let's see how much it costs so an R you can release and get five I don't recommend that no what about SRs SRs let's use a vampira you can get 100 of it 100 talismans for vampira i'm not i'm however not going to release anything i'm just going to show you guys how it is done so basically you release an sr and you get 100 so i released like a lot of inogamis i got a lot of inogamis i don't know why um i, I got a lot of inogamis when i when i summoned so i kept releasing inogamis um i've already done it in in total i've done it four times Yes, I've done it four times and out of that I've got three usable ones it's not bad it's not bad it's really not bad that's really not bad rate um, some people get worse rates it's luck dependent you know some I got lucky I got really lucky earlier I said I wanted a slot to attack I had a feeling so I just went to shrine I shrined my two Inogamis and I did this I hit on um, so I, 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 I hit on the the soul thing and you can choose you can choose whatever set you want any set that you want you can choose the set you go into the set you can even choose the slots right you can choose whatever slot you want except that it's a bit random random as in let's say you choose a slot two you only can it, it's random that you might get like attack percent defense percent hp percent or speed all right so earlier i had a feeling that i could get attack percent i went in there's a there's a one in four chance that you'll get a type percent, right? So it's twenty five percent chance of getting a type percent, and from there, you know, that's like you, you have to break it down some more to how many, you know, what's the chances of landing like getting the the substats you want. This is the easy way out, except that they have 
a limit. The limit is three attempts a week. All right, so you can only use this three times a week. In the initial stages, this is not a bad idea to get your Shikigami sold up with six star souls. This is not a bad idea. I mean, but obviously you only sacrifice Shikis that you're not gonna use, all right? Don't sacrifice Shikis that are like really important to you, okay? Like me, I knew that I'm not gonna use Inugami right now and like, I know that, I somehow know that sometimes in these kind of games that when you keep getting the same Shikigami over and over again, you know that forever you'll be getting a lot of them. So I'm like, okay, let me just sacrifice those, those Inugamis. So, um, of course, it differs. Like, slot 1 is a fixed attack slot, as everyone knows. So, again, these, these kind of slots, right? What, what happens is you can get... Um, you'll get 6 stars, but sometimes 6 stars with only 2 unlocked substats or 3 or 4. You know, it, it's random. It's so random. So, um, most people recommend that take the first slot because... Um, for your first one you take the first slot because it's 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 a flat attack and uh, when you're early in the game a flat attack can, can be a lot too you know then here you can get that slot six you know you can get attack percent defense percent hp percent <clears throat> crit damage or crit rate slot four is the same like uh, no it's not the same it's different from slot two you know you can get Attack percent, defense percent, HP percent, effect hit, and effect resistance. Uh, what that means? How do I explain it? Effect hit is sort of like accuracy. It's like it increases the chances of an effect to land. An effect resists increases your chances of resisting an effect. Okay, that, I think in simplest words, that that's what it is. So slot 5 is a fixed stat, you know, it's a flat HP. Slot 3 is fixed flat defense. So it's similar to Summoner's War, 1, 3, 5 are fixed slots, uh, fixed stats, you know. They don't have percentages except for the subs. Whilst 2, 4, 6 are percentages except for speed. Speed is not a percentage, you know, it is flat, a flat stat. Okay. So that's one way of obtaining a... How do I exit from here? Okay, press back. So that's one way of obtaining a 6 star soul. Now the second way is you go to mall, you go to general, okay, and then, um, where is it? Go to medals, right there. Can you see here, weekly quota 1. You can get random Great six soul. I I'm not sure about this, you know, because it's random and it's 480, 480 um, medals. You 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 just add 20 more and you can get yourself a skill Daruma, which which you can only get once a week. Trust me, these black skill Darumas are really important. You you want them, okay? You want them. You want to at least get these black skill Darumas, all right? After you've gotten them. Then you're free to do whatever it is that you want with your medals, but random great six souls. I don't think it's it's a good idea because it's so random. You know, the another way is uh, you go to souls, right? Level 42 onwards, there's a chance for a six star soul to appear. However, it's fucking expensive. Excuse the language, but <clears throat> if you start watching more of my vids, you see that I'm 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 a very vulgar person. So yeah, I'll be, there'll be a lot of swearing, especially when things don't go my way or when I'm annoyed at how things are priced. 480k coins. That's a lot. I don't even have 480k right now. I only have 400k coins. So yeah, that's another way. Well, if you're a pay player and you have coins, go ahead, you know. You can refresh the shop for like 3 Jade, okay, which I'm not going to do. Don't do that, you know. It's... it's a waste of jade and apart from that what else can we get where else can we get them mm, go back to mall i'm go back packs was there a soul so you can see 
the only things I ever bought was the promo beginner pack and the promo Daruma pack. That was the three bucks spent. Okay. And uh, these things. No, there's no soul packs here. So yeah, you can't get them from there. On one way is the shrine, like, and another way. Another way, the most common way. Let's go to explore. Alright, you go to souls and you can run well stage seven, eight, nine, ten. They all have a chance of dropping grade six souls. Or you can go to Sogan B, right, and you can just hit this. These also have a chance of dropping um, grade six souls. Greed is pretty easy to do. If you can clear like soul six, you can definitely clear clear uh, greed, I think. Anger, I cleared it. It's it's slightly tougher took a bit longer you can clear the seven soul seven i think should be fine for anger foolery i don't have because i've never gotten the foolery pass yet so i have no idea what those souls do yet um there but you can get it you can team up or you can just i mean you can co-op with other players or you can farm them yourself however in this game it's two ap cheaper to to farm them with other people, so yeah, just farm them with other people. How else do you get souls? I think in guild, there, there is a feed pack or something. Let me just show you guys. Guild, the guild, shine, go to the feed shop. Okay, the feed pack. Um, okay, I'm not sure. There, you can have it once your guild unlocks at guild level 3. Once at guild level 3, you can use 200 of these feet which you get from uh, guild quests and demon encounters and you can use it for random g6 soul again it's random so not sure whether whether it's worth it because it's random so yeah if, if you guys don't know about this feat thing right you can get base darumas for 15 which is great you can get um you can get two great darumas for 110 each and uh, you can get this feedback come on let's let's do this i have no idea what's inside uh, what do we get? Totem Zone Pass. Cool. I've never done the Totem Zone yet. I think this is my first Totem Zone Pass. And then... Um, group Quest. Never mind. You know what? It's not there. Now, the other one, which coincides with all the videos that I've done before. Um, which was the stage 8 of Orochi and stage 9 and 10 of Orochi is to do Kraken so we go to Kraken I'm just gonna join this small one or this one so we're just gonna join this and this Kraken you can do this once an hour well hopefully we get a great 6 soul if not this is a wasted video because I don't plan on recording it again but yeah so you team up with others it costs 30 ap i'll do this once every hour some people just say it's not so worth it anymore but for me that i'm not farming souls right now i'm just farming exp all the time because um i need my i need i, I need to bring my utengu to grade six as, as soon as possible and it's not looking that bright you know it's, it's looking like it might take some time for me to get it done so yeah, so I just run the Kraken every hour. You know, of course, if my AP allows. If my AP doesn't allow it, then then yeah, it's then I just have a miss on it. But usually, I just go through it every hour. So we just have to wait for this. Approximately take about a minute or two. Usually, I run the level ten ones, but this is a level forty one. It's not it's not that tough. It's uh, it's pretty okay. I think uh, we are teamed up with people who are have pretty alright souls. I'm not saying that my souls are alright, mine are just okay. They're nowhere near good, you know. They're, they're still just okay. Now my Tengu does about approximately 20k damage, I think, to, to the Kraken. Yeah, it should be dead now. Alright, cool. Alright, so you get the XP for your spectators and also for the people that you bring in. Come on, great six soul. Give me one. Ah, oh, no. No luck. But we did get some uh, great five souls, though. 
so yeah here's one way that you can get it again it's random it's completely random the drops can be between four to eight to even more than that then uh, if you had your coin bonus on you can get like close to 20k coins and you also get like some evil mats from here and that is how you get six, great six souls right i hope this answers a lot of people's questions on how people get their great six souls so you have again let's recap the first method which is the easiest method to get it you only need to sacrifice um, well you can sacrifice your your r-rated monsters your your sr rated shikis up to you you know you can sacrifice again this, this one does no 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 no. let's not do that but, but tesso tesso is five so it's like you can release it for five and then you can release like 40 of the r's or 40 of the n's can we release n's no no you can only release r's or sr's ssr's though how many do you get Okay, let's unlock let's let's put there oh you get you get 10 cool you get 750 from there not gonna release it of course no no how do I go back okay not gonna release it of course so you get 750 from there I'm not gonna release it because I only have three SSRs currently and um, I plan to build all of them like um, I'm trying to integrate both Ibaraki and Utengu into a team and then Shuten and Vamp will probably be in another different team so yeah that's how you get your oh we were recapping right <laughs> sorry sorry about that so the summon the shrine we just call it shrine you can just shrine your SRs away to get those or you can go explore to the souls get them or you can go to mall that's, this is the third method, method which is um, you go to the soul and you buy it here with coins. Right, so there's three methods already. You can go to general, go to honor, I think, no. Medals. It's the fourth method. It's once a week. Right. Um, you can go to kraken. And you can go to guild. So there's six ways to get great six souls. So... If you found this video helpful, do like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions, just post them in the comment section. This is Zaf signing out then.